Hello everybody, welcome back to Can of Wormholes. I can't quite remember where I finished off last time, although I do definitely remember struggling with this puzzle over here. So let's go for a wander and see what other puzzles we can find, because there must surely be plenty we have not yet attempted. Okay, this is the uh, the back of the bus, as it were, or possibly the front, but that is not where we need to be. So I know that this puzzle was not agreeing with me last time. Have we tried? Uh, we've done this one. Yes. Cool. We've not done this one. Have I tried this one? I have no idea. I do not recall. So let's see what we can do. All right, we need to get a long ways down. And we have two finishing goals this time. We have that one. But I'm going to guess this is going to be more complicated than that. Because we can't get over this gap. The only thing I can see that we can do is if we navigate around here. Nope, not there. Back. And turn around. I can push that to there. And then I can consume it, but not in a way that seems to be particularly helpful. What if we do it on the other end of this? We spin around, push that over one. Still not terribly useful. But for getting down here, that is simply too long. And my concern is, if we were to push this off as a bridge, obviously we can make it over here, but I can't push that over the gap. So I'm probably going to need to push one of these down somehow. But I'm really not sure. There might be something I'm missing because we came into this area from much further away. So we might have done these slightly out of order because every single one does have a slightly different mechanic to teach. Have we seen this one yet? I don't think so. Looks like there's going to be a lot to do with... Hold on. I'm too long. That's too long, but there's also another too long one. <gasps> I can cut it on a fence. Great knowledge. All right, we have learned something. I'm totally here for it. I wonder how many other puzzles I've seen that will directly apply to. Let's see what's going on with this one. Right, we've got a tiny little guy here. A whole bunch of these, uh, excuse you. Oh, I see. So, our tail, as I take this step, cannot protrude further backwards, so it pushes us further forwards. And we can't approach it from the other end, so... We must get all of this at once. And now we can use the smaller piece to cut ourselves into a two-piece and a five-piece. What is that going to look like? Is a great question. Let's do this first. All 
Right, that's a two and a four. So I wonder if I need to prep this. Ah, I can't be anywhere else with this. It can only be at the one end or the other. So there must be some way to cut ourselves in the way that I want. What if we kind of prep ourselves in a smaller fashion? Or so that we have no pieces to the top half of ourselves so we are able to roll. Now, does that present this as a problem? Because this is the wrong shape. So, do we have to cut it exactly in the right shape? Because if so, that's going to be trickier. So it's one, three, one. The five. And everything needs to be on the bottom half. Or I wonder. Can I push all of this down? No. All right, that answers my question that can I compose an answer out of two pieces? Apparently I cannot. But what I can probably do is just chop this up into a bunch of tiny bits. The only thing I need to do first is get the two piece of this one on the other side of the fence. And then I can be the long contorted one afterwards. How am I going to roll that over though? That's what I need. I just need it the other direction. And here. Which is not the easiest thing to intuit. Let's reset just a second and see if I can't make a better starting point for myself. So we need to make everything be on the bottom side. So now I'm a three long and I want a two long vertical on the other side of the fence. Can I do that? Great question. Why am I not stuck? Normally at this point the game would tell me if I didn't have any available moves to get out of the predicament I've put myself in. But I don't see that move. But there must be somewhere for this to go. The alternate, of course, is going to be if that needs to start there as a setup before this. But where am I going to get the cut in for that? 
I mean, we can all be on that side. And how do I flip this? How do I flip this over the fence without the use of being on the right-hand side of the fence to begin with? Oh, that's frustrating. Unless... Oh, no. No, we can't cut it again on the left-hand side fence, can we? There's got to be some way to have a two vertical piece on this side, right? But the only way I can see to cut myself is with everything on the lower half and... That makes two. Then how can I make this? Upright. I don't know if that's helpful or not. I think that side of things is going to be more helpful. Come on, there's an answer here somewhere. Can't be there. What am I missing? That's me at three long. All right. I'm going to have to come back to that one. Chopping is good knowledge, but I'm missing something. But I'm sure fence chopping knowledge will come into its own here, right? This must be dense choppage. I need two twos. Well, I say fence chopping knowledge must come in here, but at the same time, how would I chop something on this fence? If I can't I guess I can rotate me if I'm longer. So. I need to be. Oh god. Something like that. But not quite. Because we can't push this down. It must go towards the fence. Look at those little legs. So many little legs. Uh, am I going to have to do this? No, I'm not long enough to do that. To chop myself whilst hanging over the edge of a thing. And I can back up into other pieces, but I'm not sure that's going to help me move it in a way that's going to functionally change things for me. Oh, I can roll any way I want if my end of my body is protruding off of the level. That's interesting. I just don't know where to make this cut or how to make this cut. Get me long again. I wonder. No, I'm not long enough. 
to wrap around the entire length of this thing. If this is the way for me to rotate... Oh, that's too long. I can only rotate if I'm one tail's length. So we're only one high in this whole level. But I'm not seeing something there either. They're getting trickier, aren't they? Trying not to get too hung up on one thing for too long at the moment when there's so much to be exploring. Alright, well we need to preserve this. To, oh god, eventually do we need to like bite this and make a really long thing to finish on. I am confused. Uh. Okay, that's good knowledge. We are how long? Three. One, two, three. We need to be six long for the end of this. But we can't... Uh, I mean, I could do this and eat that. And then what? Well, I can't rotate this now. And if I can't rotate this, then I can't make individual pieces up by slicing it. God, I really feel like a bit off more than I can chew today. How could I chomp the end of this? Because that makes two individual pieces. Don't know. It's all just not working in my brain today. Nothing's gelling with all of my thoughts. How many of these do we have now? Uh, legs, come back to me. I need you legs. We've only got three of those, so we're not getting through that door anytime soon. All right, then. Well, I do want to go back to... Uh, we can fast travel with X. One of these puzzles that looks like a staircase. Not these. But it is in this area. It might be on the other side of this door, though. I think it is. How short are we on getting through that door? Two more puzzles. Why can I not even see a place to start this puzzle? Do we not have somewhere to start this one? Can't both be this, can it? How do I make a three long? For a start, you get that out of the way. Now, we haven't learned about blue fences yet. Oh, sorry, we've learned about cutting ourselves on blue fences. Obviously, this is a different color fence. Do I still think I can cut myself on this fence? I don't think I can, just because of the way the level is oriented. This seems to be a more strict movement 
puzzle pushing rather than anything else. But how do we get to three down here? We just want to be three long. If we eat two, we've eaten too much. Ooh, how about this? Hold on. How can I make this work? We push that back. Could I somehow, great question, move this green one up a piece? I want this to be one higher than it is. And I'm not sure how to do that. Maybe I am. Hold on. We put that there. Then I can come out of it, move it up. Then we can get rid of all that stuff. Move that across. Eat that one. We are three long. Very nice. Happy to make some modicum of progress. That is 13 of those. We need 14 to get through the door. Can we find one more of them to do? I mean, I can find it, but can I solve it? That is a great question. Right, so this must be a whole bunch of rotational stuff, right? But where are we going to move it? I almost feel like I need to reverse engineer this. So if we see where... Can I get through this? I can. I can't get over there. That's where the... I want to say G shape, but it's probably not that close to a G, but right now it is trans translationally similar. We can slide it over and it would match. If we're going to flip it over, it needs to be backwards. And then we need to flip it again, but I don't think we need to flip it upside down. So how are we going to roll it with resistance against the black piece. That's my big question. I think awkwardly to start, I might do this. But now I'll never get it back, will I? Or at least I won't get off. But this has the point in the wrong corner. And because I'm so short, I can't be my own backstop. That's simple enough. Makes a jolly tune. Because there's only so many ways I can flip this on different axes. This doesn't seem right because I can't now push this back towards the center of the level. I wonder what the grey lines represent. Because they just seem to be arbitrary in relation to the design of the level, but it could be something I yet do not understand.
Right, I really want this whole thing to be flipped on the other axis. So if we start there and then bring this over, it's no good because I can't roll inwards on it. Start with that. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I can do that. That seems very hopeful. Hey. All right, using that inner piece was what we needed. That is 14. Where's the door we can't get through? It's to our left. So, waltzing along. I think we can now get through this door. Very satisfying. I'm confused as to this level, though. Does this level not have a thing to let me say, hey, play this level? Or have I gone mad? In this flower pot. Baffling me. So now we can get through here, which is good. Is somewhere back here then is the staircase puzzle. So the lovely developer saw my first video where I tackled this puzzle and they t they said specifically that there is nothing special about this ball. The rules are always maintained. And then it occurred to me, just as I was sat in my office doing some regular jobby job work today, that in this stretch of staircase, you can't grow backwards or forwards because there's no space to do so. So it's not until you turn left here that you actually get longer and eat the piece that you were thinking of. Now we want to be five long. We are currently four long and we need to get over a gap that is five long. So, does this new knowledge change anything for us? Well, we can back these up. Then, I can back that up. How is that going to help me? I can't back it up further. I also can't push it. Because I would grow from my front end, right? So if I'm three long, this would be four long, five long. That's six long, which is too many. So... I'm going to eat one. I'm going to prime one to be pushed there, I think. Eat another. And that is going to push this one out. I eat one. I can get across it. Am I too long? I am too long. Ah. Okay. Well, we're getting there. Do I need to eat two? One of them... I need to eat to get over there. So that's easy enough to put there. Then... 
Ugh. I can back that one up as well. Because what I don't think I can do, I certainly cannot do, is stand there to push the first one back further into the staircase. But if I eat this one now. That's not what I want. So I eat this. That one gets pushed and I'm back to where I was. The problem of being too long. What can I do about that here? Well, okay. Okay. Think of these as two different opportunities. I can put one here to become a future stepping stone, right? But this one can become a stepping stone for this side, which then allows me to be shorter to eat that one. That one gets put in my mouth. That becomes our gap. That lets me cross. And now that one's solved. That's a great puzzle. Is that all of those? I go to the map screen. That says 15 out of 15. This tunnel is currently closed. So let's fast travel to here. And then next time, with our wealth of symbols, we'll see if we can't take these trains somewhere new and exciting for now though thank you ever so much for joining me on this journey i'm sorry the very first half of this was a little more scatterbrained than the second half but i'm working on it as we go for now thank you ever so much for watching if you're enjoying the series please do consider subscribing hitting that like button all that good stuff and i'll see you guys in the next one cheers